hello and welcome back to my let's play of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. In the last episode we did the of Darien Darkness quest. I uh, had to go to Aramas's place uh, and explore his dungeons. Uh, had to go through the trial of cheeses <laughs> and we found a weapon called the Emmentaler. Uh, we then went to see Triss and we sorted out the nobleman statuette, which turned out to be a nobleman trapped inside the statuette. Uh, he was compressed by a sorceress called, uh, oh, what's her name? Coral. Uh, we then came back to the haunted house and found out that Kareen has actually moved in with Sarah. So, what we're going to do now is we're gonna go to we're gonna go and do the following the thread quest so we're gonna go and talk to the supervisor <laughs> and we're still rolling right okay so where are we going Oh, it's not too far anyway, so not bother with Roach. Wonderful. So where are we heading? This way, going the wrong way. Oh, don't want to fall down there. No, <laughs> what am I doing? Alright. Uh, yeah. What the hell? Alright. Quick the jumping. Right, let's just, uh,. <laughs> what the hell is going on here? I'm not doing anything. <laughs> what? So th this is how we're going to travel from now on. We're going to jump everywhere, I think. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> Hang on a minute, let's just see if, just meditate for now and see if that's, uh, you can't do that now, why is that, it's got, that because we're in midair. No way, what is going on here? Why can't I do that now? I think something's gone seriously wrong here. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's try reloading that and see what happens. Right, okay, I think we sorted it. I've just had to completely reload it. Uh, yeah, at least we are not jumping about everywhere now. So let's get back to doing heading towards the supervisor. Uh, knock out, knock over a few dwarves. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's, that's never happened to me before. That's something I've not seen. Okay. Let's let's see what we've got. Like folk wandering around here. Oh, yeah. Tough luck. Well, got a beast you need someone to get rid of? I'm here about the notice. Huh. Supervisor Lund posted it. Yeah, a beast haunts the outskirts, murdering folk. But we're scared to leave their homes after dusk. Eh, uh, well, can I can I talk to this supervisor? I'd like to talk to this supervisor. Too bad he don't receive petitioners. So what's he do exactly? Delivers relief on behalf of the city council and flour and groats for the paupers. Meaning he don't do it personally. He's got men for that. He himself, he uh... Supervisors? Supervisors. Exactly. <laughs> well, maybe I can hunt this beast. I aim to hunt down this monster. Best hurry, then some other bloke's already after it. 
Oh yeah. Someone's already taken the contract. Who took the contract? Didn't see the man. Was just told some brave fool turned up. Has anyone seen this monster? Any eyewitnesses to these attacks? No, just the bodies. Beast appears only at night. Chooses isolated victims. Hmm. Whereabouts did this beast attack? When do you find the last victim? Just last night. Hubert, a beggar, but a decent man. I'd let him sleep in his shed from time to time. That one on the right. Eustace hasn't come for the corpse yet. It's lying in there where I found him. Well, thank you. Thanks. So long. Okay, cheers, pal. Let's go and take a look. So we're in here. Blood's all sucked out. A lesser vampire? Yay, we got a vampire. Have we got anything we can take? Some water. Always good. And another plate. Ooh, some alcohol. Blood, but not human. Monster was wounded. Oh, good. Not the marks of a Garcane or a Fletter. Gotta be an Ekimara. Oh, great stuff. Don't start jumping everywhere again. Right, so let's follow these tracks and see where they go. Seems like it had lost some strength, was sneaking along the shoreline. Oh, there it is. Once it rains like this, come so in time. Rain? Oh, it is raining, yeah. But not that direction. It's raining here. But. Oh, it is. Just didn't look like it. <laughs> Tracks end here. Ought to look for prints on the other side. Oh, I can do that. See if there's anything else, excuse me, anything else we can find? Oh yes. Rat corpses. Not a drop of blood left in them. Gotta be an Ekimara. Yeah, we gathered that one. Let's see what we can find in here. No, I don't want to ignite it. I want to loot it. Thank you. Right, before we go in, do we have any vampire oil? Yes, we do. Let's get that on. Uh, get a bit of Quen ready. Igni. Get our sword drawn. We've got Lambert. Greetings, Lambert. Damn, it's good to see you, Wolf. Decide to test the hunting in Novigrad? For as I remember, you never liked this city. Still don't. Thing is, I got a certain matter to take care of. So, where have you been? 
What have you been up to? Any luck on the path? A lot, in fact. Quite the takings in Lan Exeter. Was asked to hunt down a giant who turned out to be a forest troll and some bandits. Bandits? Came as a package with the troll. <laughs> so, do you need any help with this matter? The matter you mentioned. Anything I can help with? Hmm. Maybe. But we'll talk about that later. Got our reward to collect. I'm kind of in a hurry. Let's say you've earned half. What the hell? Oh, cheers. Uh, I'll join you later. I'll join you for that later. Wait up for me. Fine, but try not to take too long. Know where the supervisor has his office? Yeah, yeah we've just been chat with the guardsmen outside it. See you there. Right, let's take a look around and see what we can find in here. Burned bread. Uh, less green mutagen, monster bit, Sekimara hide. Oh, no, I want that idiot. So we've got anything else up here? Oh yeah, plenty. Right, anything downstairs? And then we'll run back and meet Lambert at the supervisors. Oh, plenty of uh, crafting or alchemy ingredients, even. I've still got more. Let's just check on our alchemy and see what we can see if there's anything we can do. Any more bombs? No. Decoctions? No. Oils? No. And no potions either. So, right. Let's get back and go and see what Lambert's been. Right, back to the supervisor, we know what he's been doing. So So I'll have a look along here, yeah, see what there is, see if there's anything to loot, but no. Here he is. Let's collect our reward. Yeah, let's do that. Could do with the money. So, what do you think? We did what we had to do. Time to pay up. Yeah, cough it up. Wait here, I'll go see the supervisor, get your reward. Do that ourselves. No reason you should abandon your post. Hmm. Hmm. Can't argue with reason. Go on in. Uh, thank you. We dealt with the monster at the docks, here for our reward. Witches? Since when do you travel in pairs? A lot of dangers lie in wait for a lone witcher. Bandits, for example. Hey, oh, what's he on about? I advise you to change your tone. Where's Yad Karadin? Talk. Who? Who? Trust me, Geralt, this is important. There's something I gotta know. I do not know any Karadin. Take your coin for the before and bugger off before I lose my temper. Where's Yad Carradine? Asking you for the last time. Damn Guards it, Lambert. To the dungeon with them. Oh, great. And where do you think you're going? Oh, great. So you're going to leave me to deal with these? Yeah, cheers, Lambert. Right, appreciate that. One down. How long are you gonna make me wait? Not long. Come on then. Oh shit. 
Yeah, you can burn again. Right, let's see what these have got. I'm going to have to go to the blacksmith again soon and... Uh, yeah, and sell some of the stuff I'm carrying. Otherwise I'm going to get overburdened again. I could do with those bigger... Uh, oh, saddlebags. But I object to paying that much for them at the moment. This guy's more trouble than the Akimara. Carradine's disappeared. I swear. The others too. Uh, I only know of Vienne. What about Vienne? She drinks at the Seven Cats. They're day and night. See? You can be helpful. What are you doing, Lambert? Oh, fuck me. What the hell, Lambert? Crazy? What the hell are you doing? I can explain everything. I damn well hope so. More guardsmen will show soon. Let's go. Meet me at the Seven Cats. I'll tell you everything there. The tavern. You better play in as well. Yeah. See you later. What the hell is he up to? Pretty much. <laughs> Wrong one. Uh, murdered that guy. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's not not as good as I thought. Okay, let's. Uh, that's another book we've got to read. That's the same book. Have we got anything else in here? I don't think so. What was that? That was just uh, something to light. Can we get this? Ah, oh, get up there. Ah, oh, sod off. Come on up. You get up. Yeah, we will take that. Oh, we have got something else. Right. So let's go to the three, the seven cats, the three cats, and see this VN before Lambert decides to kill her as well. Clearing the city of shit. Surrounding area. Monsters. You know, what a witcher does. Well, I go the long way, so yeah. So what the hell do you right, want, Lambert? You explain some things. What you want to? Why do you kill Lund? What's this all about? Want the short version or the long one? Uh, I want to hit lot. Let me hear the whole thing. I had a friend. Aiden was his name. You had a friend? <laughs> oh, he fucking hilarious. I met him soon after I'd accepted a contract to lift the curse from the ogre of Elandrin. Aiden had been hired to kill it. He was a witcher from the school of the cat. Well, that's a good start anyway. But it's school of the cat, just about hired assassins. Uh, so how did it work out? As far as I remember, the ogre was killed in the end. Yeah, after it gutted my employer, we really didn't have a choice. I cut a deal with Aiden. We joined forces, split the reward for killing the ogre between us. After that, we worked together a lot. Hands down the best man I'd ever met. I mean, I like you, you know that. Still, no comparison. So what happened to him then? What happened to him? Some time ago, Aiden took on a contract to lift a curse off a duke's daughter. 
It was a political mess from the start. Then there was hatred for the school of the cat to deal with. They worked hard to deserve that hate. Basically turned hired assassins. Oh, Aiden wasn't there we like go. that. What was he like then? Anyway, some of the Duke's courtiers had designs. Weren't at all keen on the curse being lifted from the Duke's firstborn. So a band of trained assassins ambushed Aiden. Murdered him. Our dear supervisor was one of them. And he had carried him. Oh, that explains a few things then. And the one to deal the mortal blow. So I'm I'm sorry about it. Sorry about your friend. Don't need your sympathy, just your help. We have to talk to Vienna. Must have had enough to drink by now. Let's go. Yeah, let's talk to her, and you ain't gonna kill her. Not like that. That was just a disgrace, Lambert. Vienna. What do you want? We want to see Yad Keridan. <laughs> Uh, because you're asking you nicely? It's really important to my friend here. And what will I get out of it? Pay for your beer, for starters. Then we'll see how valuable your information is. I was part of Caradin's band, but when was that? I don't know where to find him. I've fallen out with a lot. Besides, he's no longer chummy with his old mates. Word around town is he's changed. What do you mean he's changed? Carradine's changed? What do you mean? He's dropped all his old connections. Stopped taking on petty killings. He's hidden himself away in some hole. Must be something big so who were Caradin's mates who else was in Caradin's band aside from me Sleaze Hammond and Lund but they scattered all over the world Sleaze went to Tretigal Hammond to Scaliger and Lund Lund's dead <laughs> yeah Lambert just murdered him Why did you join them? What about you? What's your story? Scoia'tael. The unit was decimated, so I joined Caradin. They never treated me as an equal. I could hit a sparrow from a hundred paces, but I was never good enough for Caradin. He was one of their cunts he is. You have a hand in the murder of the Witcher Aiden? Perhaps. I don't remember. Yeah, too pissed. Uh, so what do you know about Hammond? We need information about Hammond. Caradin's right-hand man once. When the band broke up, he went back to Pharaoh. Won't see it come. He's a pirate now. Even the Arles treat him with respect. So tell us about Selyse. This... She's done well for herself. Runs a brothel in Tretigal. The kind rich men frequent. Pours suck information out of them. And she sells it. Name of this brothel? The Black Lily. Selyse always did have horrible taste. So we need to... We need to... Uh, try again, Andrew. We need to contact the other members of the band. Satisfied. She doesn't know anything. We need to talk to Hammond and Selyse. Don't go looking at the carols in. If he senses you nipping at his heels, he'll kill you without batting an eye. We'll see. As for you. Don't kill her, Lambert. No, Lambert. Right. Better to leave her like this. What about my coin? Not a prayer. You didn't oh, know. So 
Did not fuck all. You got in now. You gotta help me, Geralt. Best thing will be to split up. You sail to Skellige. Try to squeeze something out of Hammond. I'll go to Tredegor and meet Salise. Uh, fine. I can do that one. Where do need once I'm back? At the Nowhere Inn. All right. I'm off. Good luck. Well, see you soon, Lambert. Because we won't be going to Skellige yet. I don't really want to look at this uh, notice board because that starts off uh, Heartstone DLC. So, right, let's take a look at what we're going to do now. Uh, we can go back to meet Zoltan in the Kingfisher. Uh, I mean, we haven't got all that many. And we can go and do this fencing lesson. But there's not all that much we can do at the moment. There's a couple of contracts. Uh, what about treasure hunts? Uh, we could go and do the upgrades for the Griffin School gear, uh, Cat School gear. Uh, there's not all that much we can do at the moment. We need to pick up some more stuff from the uh, notice boards, I think. But what we'll do now is we'll go and talk to Zoltan in the Kingfisher. And we can also, after we've done that, uh, I've got quite a way to go. Where's Roach? Come on, get your ass over here, lass. Uh, play McQuen. I think that's the last one we need to play for the uh, playing in keeps quest. So I think that's what we shall do. Yeah I would. And go this way. Gallop here? Oh yeah. Not for long though. Just until we get into the city. Oh, not even until we get into the city. Now, if I'm correct, if it's here, it'll save us a job later. Is it this one? Yes, it is. There is a. Uh, Out the cat school gear up here somewhere. You know, I've mm -hmm. I think I played I'm too much to Tomb Raider, pressing the wrong keys. Right, right. So uh, we this place. Ah, get out of the way then. I'm robbing you. Alright, up the stairs. There we go. Enhanced feline sword. Brilliant. Okay, that's that bit done. Now let's go and get back on Roach and go to the Kingfisher. Have we got any uh, on, of 
don't think we have. No. I wondered if we had any, had any of Horson's men in there, but it doesn't look like it. So, so we've uh, we've got to where he is, where she is even. Have you had that much to drink? You can't get yourself back up. Really? God. Out soon. I think we're in for a bit of music. Uh, Finny Jones look like Kim about this by I ever growing hardening into stone amidst the cold to hold you in a heated embrace you flee my dream come the morning your scent berries tart lilac sweet to drink of raven locks and twisted stormy <laughs> Sultan's really getting into it eyes glistening as you weep I know not if fate would have us live as one or if by love's blind chance we've been bound the wish I wish when it all began Didn't forge a love you might never have found You flee my dream come the morning Your scent very star lilac sweet To dream of raven locks and twisted stormy Yeah, that's uh, definitely about Geralt and Yennefer. Don't look exactly impressed. <laughs> but no, I, I like that song. First time I heard it, I thought, yeah, that's good. Uh, the way it's put in, the way it's done. 
Makes a change to see something like that in the game. I know him. Twas him murdered some Tamarian boys back in White Orchard. Silence, woman. Let me save your neck. A murderer. There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt. He risked his noggin to save someone else's ass. Ah, you could say that. Yours. Folk. Don't let After you got your face pummeled in on the counter. Outside. Come on. I wish to listen to music. Music? Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is. <laughs> Permit me to introduce uh, Alessia's Priscilla, known also as Caladetta, as lovely as she is talented. And this is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be yeah. surprised. After Obviously, all, it came from Dandelion. Right? subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress, or should I say, sorceress sins. Yeah, it seems Dandelion that nothing out. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going? <laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Not here. Come with me. There you are. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Sidney Rubin's vault? Shoot them. And we've not seen him since. Well, that sounds good. Who the hell's Reuben? Reuben. What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls <laughs> were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yes, I'd agree. It doesn't seem like Dandelion to go breaking into a vault. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. I've got to pay for his way into Pass of Flora once. He made away the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matters that couldn't wait, you said. This someone. Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Well, I think we know who it is. Probably Sui. So I take it this heist didn't go exactly to plan. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere. It seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. Does he ring a bell? Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not slipping. Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Rubin, Carlo the Cleaver of the rest, and the king of beggars. Oh, rascal. At least he did me cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. Put me in deep then. Yeah, so being uh, proper shit then. Oh well, it looks like I gotta rescue Dandelion yet again. There I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is. <laughs> I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. No one will mind, but... Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuben. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuben runs a bass house. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry up. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Okay. Well, Thank you, Priscilla. 
Yeah, see you later, Sultan. Yeah, I see it. Right, what we'll do now is we'll just uh, empty Priscilla's room. And then... We shall... Uh, go and have a word with this innkeeper and see if we can play him at Glen. The Kingfisher Inn proudly invites you to 90 performances by Priscilla the Calonetta. Guaranteed to tug every heartstring. Yeah, if there are all performances are like that, yeah, I could see that. Right, so let's go and see the innkeeper. Yeah, getting knocked off it. You want knocking off her again? There you go. <laughs> Plenty of people in my favourite place. Get out of the way, thank you. Kingfisher, where do you get the name? Master Dandelion Poetry. The Kingfisher preened, then fell in the latrine. <laughs> yeah, also know the one about Princess Annie, who drowned in the River Fanny. <laughs> yes, at any rate, the Kingfisher welcomed poetry lovers with open arms. Some of the brightest stars in the literary firmament perform here. Uh, let's have a look at what you're peddling. What are you serving today? Gwen cards. What we got? Uh, Sky Tall, Macklin Defender, Habakar Smuggler, Rayhead Brigade Veteran, Habakar Healer. So, all Sky Tall. Which isn't really much use to us at the minute. Right, let's play. Looking for a partner. Wouldn't mind a round of Gwent. Then you're in the right place, friend. If you'll play now, I'll stake the unique card from my collection. Oh, I'll play. Come on then, let's get sure. to it. Let's play. No, I don't want monster deck. Anything else we can chuck in there? No. Oh, we can get these in the sky tell bit. Nothing to go in north guard. Uh, let's take a look, because it's a while since I've played now, so... I don't think there's anything much we can do at the moment. It's about as good as it's going to get for now. Got a couple of spies, medic. Uh, a couple of medics for Yennefer. Could be a bit of a tough game this, but let's go for it anyway. Oh, monsters, we're gonna get hammered. Uh, let's have a look, we've got any spies? No, no medics. I think we're up shit creep without a paddle here. We'll get rid of one at decoys. We need biting frost. We'll try getting rid of Sabrina and see what commander's on. Great. We are seriously going to struggle here. Right, okay, let's play Sheldon. Oh, nice, botchling. Uh, we'll get throwing Siegfried as well into the close combat. Double the strength of all your close combat. Right, so at least we've gotten to use that and get that out of the way. So we haven't got any spies or medics, so what I might do is dummy C3 back out and see what else he's going to do. Oh, he's passed! Ho oh, oh, ho, okay. I don't want to use my Biting Frost and I want to use as few cards as possible. I don't know whether it's going to be worth playing Roach actually and just using the one card and seeing what we get. I'm going to, I'm going to risk it, I'm going to try that. 
because I mean we can't use our uh, commander spawn on him anyway, it doesn't work, so... Oh god, nothing. We've got bloody Zoltan. Marvellous. Mind you, it's something we can use our... Commander's horn on, if we need to. But... Uh, right, I'm going to play Shira into ranged. And Griffin, nice. And we'll play our... See, oh. mm, we haven't got much other than front row stuff. So I'm wondering if it's going to be worth... Clearing out the front row, but then that leaves us open to sh Scott. Uh, or do we save that for the final round if we don't win this one? Uh, okay, let's play Zoltan. Ice Giant, nice. Uh, play Siegfried. Plague Maiden, okay. going to play one of my blue stripes. Hmm. This isn't looking pretty at all. Right, let's put our trebuchet. This is not looking good. See, I'm not sure whether I want to... Mm. See, we are wide open for Scorch. We could well be in trouble here. If we get Scorch, that'll take us down to 19. Right, okay, if I play my Siege Master on the trebuchet, right, that's not good. It's not too bad though, because we can do this now. Still seven behind. Decries that. Okay. Uh, right, our blue stripes are covered. Just want to see what tricks are. Ah, he's got up his sleeve, so that drops us by another one compared to his. Is the best way I'm going to get a draw here? I've gone too deep, haven't I? Yeah, again. So we get another six. Uh, hmm. Right, okay, let's play our commander's horn in here. Please don't be anything too deadly. We've got him. Cool. <laughs> That'll do nice. My scores weren't very high, but did enough to get there. Right, thank you, sir. Right, so what we'll do now is we'll take a break here. And then 
in the next episode, I think we will go to the bathhouse. So until then, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.